Hi, I'm going to be talking to you today about um, our new project for year six um, and a new artist, a new painting. I'm going to learn a little bit in this lesson today about their life and artworks they created and just explore the artist's artwork together. So I'm going to put a picture of the artwork on the screen and I'm going to ask you to think about three questions whilst we're looking at that. You might want to pause after each question, maybe you want to write something down or if you've got someone in your family um, that you want to have discussion with, I always find that talking to other people about artwork really kind of expands what you might have just thought yourself. So the first question what visual elements can you see in this artwork? So visual elements are the elements that make up the things that make up an artwork. The shape, line, tone, space, form, texture and colour. So which of those visual elements can you see in this artwork? So, the second thing I want you to consider about this artwork is what do you think, so it's your opinion, that this artwork is describing? What is it about? There's no right or wrong, um, but you have to explain why as well. That is what you think. Okay, so give what you think it could be. It could be absolutely anything. There's no right or wrong answer, like I said, but it's really important to give a reason why back up your point with that reason why. And the third thing I want you to consider is do you like this artwork? And why is that? You don't have to like every single artwork. That's why there's so much different art in the world. Um, but again, it's good to give that reason why, explain, you know, what it is you might love about it, why you find it exciting, why you really enjoy it, or why don't you particularly, why aren't you drawn to this sort of art? Okay, hopefully he has enough time to have a little look and explore that artwork, discuss your answers with someone around you, or write something down. So for number one, I asked you which visual elements you could see in that. You might have said, um, first of all, the first thing I would have noticed is the colour. A really bright, colourful artwork, so it's quite an obvious one there. We've also then got shape. So Sonia Delaunay uses a lot of geometric shapes in her work. We're gonna explore um, some other pieces of work that she's made, um, but uses circles quite a lot in her work as well. We've also got line, you can see a lot of lines that kind of dissect and cut through the circles as well and kind of almost creates a bit like an optical illusion. Um, so number two, I asked you, what do you think this artwork is about and um, what could meaning could it have behind it? So it's an abstract artwork and quite often abstract art doesn't have to look realistic, it doesn't have to represent something or look a certain way. It's all about using colour and shape um, to describe how someone might feel, maybe an emotion, a piece of music. If you did the challenge that we had on the Twitter, um, you might have produced some abstract artwork from that. It can describe movement and different things, but it's more about expressing yourself and using shape and colour to do that in your art. Um, so then I asked you, do you like this artwork? So do you, don't you? What did you start to say? I quite like how all the different colours and sh um, kind of shapes interact with one another. Um, I think each time I look at this artwork, I kind of see something different. I think if, the more you look at it, the more you notice some little details about it. Um, so yeah, really exciting piece of artwork there. Um, the name of this is Rhythm Couleur, or Coloured Rhythm, and it was made in 1946 by Sonia Delaunay. Okay, so the next thing to do today is start to read through that information together. You should have that in the pack that you can download as well from Parent Pay. Um, so read along with me. 
Um, and again, if there's anything you don't understand um, from the text, as you would in class, maybe look that up um, and kind of gain an understanding of the key language within the text as well. Um, and I'm going to put some pictures along the screen to accompany um, the text as well. Sonia Delaunay, Abstract Art and Orphism. Sonia Delaunay was born to a poor Ukrainian family in 1885. She survived two world wars and died wealthy in Paris in 1979. In between, she co-founded the French avant-garde movement Orphism with her husband, the painter Robert Delaunay, and claimed the first retrospective for a living female artist at the Louvre. So just a couple of things from that. Orphism is the movement, so we've got different art movements, as you know, um, and things like cubism, surrealism. So Orphism is the type of art that she was making. And a retrospective is a, an exhibition, an art exhibition, that looks back across an artist's entire career. And she was the first living female artist to have a retrospective exhibition at the Louvre. So a very, very big achievement for her. So Orphism was inspired by Cubism and it's an abstract art form. Orphism used geometric shapes and bright colours within the work. It did not seek to create realistic representations, but instead put together different bright colours to suggest movement, emotions, or portray music. Delaunay says that a quilt she made for her baby son was the inspiration for Orphism. About 1911, I had the idea of making for Charles, who had just been born, a blanket composed of bits of fabric. When it was finished, the arrangement of the pieces of material seemed to me to evoke cubist conceptions, and we then tried to apply the same process to other objects and paintings. So what I'm going to do now is just put on the screen, we can see she uses shape a lot in her work. Quite often she does use circles, and her work is generally quite large. However, you can see she's made things like dresses, which are on the screen now, and also even things like a car, all using those shapes and those styles, which were first inspired from that blanket that she made for her son. So Sonia Delaunay deemed colour and the way they were put together the most important aspect of her work. Colour could explore so much and really excited Sonia Delaunay as an artist. Delaunay was quoted as saying, colour is the skin of the world. Really lovely quote there. Um, I'm going to be asking you later when you do your questions what you think that might mean. So I hope you've enjoyed learning just a little bit about Sonia Delaunay's life. Um, I'm going to ask you to answer some questions now, which I know you've received as well. So there's six questions just looking at what we've just learned about her life. And then for number seven, I want you to choose a section of the artwork that you like best or you think is most exciting and draw that on a page, um, on a piece of paper, you know, where you've done your questions. Um, what might be really helpful is if you create a viewfinder to do this. So even if you haven't got a printed out copy, you can still do this by sticking maybe with a little bit of blue tack, something that's not going to damage the screen of your computer. What I do is I get a piece of paper and I fold it in half and then I cut out just a little square and it's going to be a rectangle now and then you've got like a little space and what you can do is put that on top of the picture or image on your laptop and it just helps you concentrate on that section and getting that into your page. Draw as big as you can and use lots and lots of colour. Okay, enjoy and I can't wait to see your artworks that you create from this.